Hello and welcome to the Selenium IDE demonstration. This is just going to be a quick and easy example of how you can create a simple automation script in Selenium using Selenium IDE. So here I have a web browser and it, and it needs to be Firefox. So I have that open and I do have Selenium IDE installed already. Just go out to the website and do the installation. And so here it is up on the left. Now, this red button here indicates whether or not Selenium IDE is recording your actions in the browser. And so right now, it is not recording. And you can set it up in the options. There is a place uh, right here, start recording immediately on open which I do not personally like. Uh, just to let you know that that option exists. So let's talk about what's going to happen here. As you can see, I've got a base URL set up over at the uh, left top here. I'm going to copy that to the clipboard. I'm going to go over to the browser, paste it in, and then just go ahead to that website sostastore.com and here we you know given the the small area that uh, we're viewing in this video uh, we're just looking at a small part of this test application now sosta is the creator of cloud tests cloud test light uh, just phenomenal testing software it's actually based on selenium so Selenium is running under the hood in cloud test. And so if you're not familiar with that tool, I highly recommend that you go take a look at it. But this application, this website called Sosta Store, is a site that they have out there that you can use your, your cloud test to you know, hit tests against. It's there for the purpose. It has a store you can go out and, and order products, but it's just it's just for play. It's just for testing, learning the, the tool. And I'm using it here to demonstrate Selenium IDE. So uh, let, let me go ahead and go back to Google. And so I'm going to turn on the record button by clicking this in just a moment. But let me tell you what to look for. Uh, some commands will appear in this list. As I uh, take actions over here in the browser, it's going to record my mouse clicks and my keyboard strokes, things of that nature, and it'll record them over here so that we can have Selenium IDE go and duplicate exactly what I did. So I'm starting at a neutral page here, just Google. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the recorder. And I'm going to click the forward button so as to uh, come to that Sosta Store page again. And so what I'm going to do here is click on Store. Now when I do, you'll notice that two commands appear here. The open command, which uh, is what happened when we came to the store, and then a, a click on this store link. So I'm going to click it right now. And that's indeed what appeared. Now notice the target is kind of the the root, if you will, so it's assuming the base URL, right? And that's exactly where we went to. And then when I clicked on this, this store link, it brought me to this new page. And you notice it put not just a click, but a click and wait. So uh, we'll talk about that when we run that script. For right now, I'm just going to do a couple of things. I'm going to scroll down here, find uh, this Tron Legacy, and click on it. So it's going to bring up that new page there where I get information about this publication. I'm going to go ahead and add it uh, to the cart. Now, you'll notice it just added it to the cart. It recorded my click, but it's not a click and wait because it knows it's not actually a page load in this case. So now I'm going to go ahead and, and give this a two-star rating seems to be the highest rating I'm allowed to give this one and it recorded that. Now up here and, and to the right I'm going to scroll over in the browser there's a, uh, a search feature so I'm going to 
type in Firth and then click on search and then it returns the search results and so I'm going to go ahead and click on the King's Speech right now it brings up that particular item and let's see I'm going to give it a four star rating here click on that and why don't I go ahead and add this to the cart as well which I just did and it uh, recorded it so let me go ahead now and take a look at my my cart my shopping cart I'll click on checkout here and so there we go now uh, you can see I've been playing around with it before so it's actually added uh, a couple extra here and so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on remove for the one that's costing money and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and, and scroll past all of this sign in stuff and I'm not actually going to enter my billing address, shipping information. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and click on purchase. And so, you know, normally that shouldn't work. So let me click and see what happens here in the Sosta store. And I'm kind of back at my shopping cart, and if I scroll down, I see an error here. So let me go ahead and, and copy that text out. Now I'm going to come over here to Selenium IDE. I'm going to call that done. Okay, so I'm going to stop my script from recording. But I want to add a command here. So I just clicked on this line. And I want to uh, verify or assert, assert that uh, that text is present. So there's a command called assert text present and I'm going to type in the value that it's looking for okay so there it is so here's the script it recorded now what I'm going to do now is is uh, I'm not being recorded now I'm just going to go ahead and empty out my cart so it should come back and I should have an empty cart okay now I'm going to go back to uh, a neutral page Google again and before I run it, I'm going to go ahead and save this test case. And before I do that, let me just show you that this is the test case right here. These commands uh, represent this untitled test case, and that's what I'm going to save. I'm going to save it as, and see, I'm just going to drop it in my documents here. I'm going to call it Selenium Demo. dot HTML because Selenium the language is is really stored in an HTML file in tables and it looks like I have one there already uh, I'm gonna give this a number two after it maybe a number three okay so I'll tell you what let's let me go ahead and open that file. Now I'm going to find it, uh, you can't see me doing this, but I'm going to find it in my documents folder. And I'm going to go ahead and open it up in a browser that was Selenium Demo 3.html. And so here it is, and you can see it just displays as an HTML table. You've got uh, the title at the top, and then each row of the table is the commands, just as you see over here in the Selenium IDE. So the first column is the command, the next one's the target, and the next one is uh, the value. So very simple in terms of the Selenese language. So I'm going to go ahead and close that tab. So I've saved the test case, and if I had multiple test cases here kind of grouped all together, I could actually save that list as a suite right here. But I'm just dealing with this one right now. So this button that I'm pointing to right here, it says play current test case. If I had more test cases in the list, I could say play the entire test suite. 
But right now I'm going to go ahead and click on this to play that one script and it's going to go through these actions here. It's going to open up the web page and then it's going to click on the link called store and wait for the page to load. That's what click and wait means. And then it's going to continue and, and do that type of thing right through here. Now if there's any errors it's going to show up in the log down here and you'll also see uh, a color indication up in this area. So let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. It's doing the open command right now. There's the store. It's clicking on the store link and waiting for the store to come up. There's the store. It's now uh, waiting for uh, a particular link to show up. And now you can see here it has run into a problem. So the command click and wait was going to click on an element in the page that was identified right here as an XPath. So if we look at the, the text, that's what it is. It's using an XPath. Uh, there are other ways to identify that link. Uh, let's try uh, this one here. And let's rerun it. Go ahead and go back to Google. and see if that other way of finding it makes a difference. I have a hunch it, uh, it won't. Well, it did find it that time. So you can see that you sometimes need to edit the script. And now it's continuing to perform the same operations that I did before. And it seems to be uh, successful so far. So it now has completed it. All the operations are done. We see no more errors in the log here except for that one in our first run. I'm going to clear the log here. Now let's go back to this uh, time that it, it clicked on that Tron link. There's another way to identify uh, that, that link. We say link equals exact colon and then the actual text and let's see if that approach works. I'm just going to rerun it. Well let me clear out the, uh, the data. Not that it's necessary. Go back to our neutral location and try it one time. Of course we've, we've seen it's already worked just wanted to show you that sometimes what you use in here might not be the choices that they give you. Let's see if it finds this one here. And it did. It got through there okay. Which means that the uh, rest of it will probably work just fine. And so it gets down to the end and it looks and sees that this error message is there. And that's really what the objective of this, this test was, is to make sure that that error handling was working correctly. I actually have a little error here in the Selenium script and that's, that's right here. Uh, really this value that we're looking for in our assert text present command should be here in the target. So let me make sure it's in the target and not in the, the value. And just to show that it will fail if the text it's looking for is not there, let me just type in the word fail here after it. Make sure that that took OK. Very good. So uh, let's go ahead and run it. Let me come back here and just clear out the shopping cart. I'll go back to a neutral place and let's go ahead and run that again. And as it comes down here you see that it should it should fail on this line and we should see that failure come up here in the log.
and we do we see the red background here on that failed line and we can see the red text down here at the bottom showing that it has failed so I'm gonna go ahead and make it right again and there it is now what you can do with this you've got this script here in fact I'm going to go ahead and save the changes that I made but I can also export the, the test case in a number of different target languages and you'll notice uh, for example in the case of Python here it can target Python using WebDriver or Python using the older Selenium remote control and so let me give you an example here just uh, save it using WebDriver I'll save it in the same place and I'll just call it selenium python.py and I'm going to go ahead and open that up in a text editor bring that over so you can see it and so it's uh, basically translated that Selenese code that HTML into Python and so this is a completely runnable Python script and you can see it has some commands in here uh, get which is going to be the uh, base URL and that's that value is set up here and you can see this uh, find by find element by link text which is a command so there's a number of these commands uh, that are part of the web driver Python bindings so you can see driver here uh, the driver is, is obtained as a Firefox driver in this case and so you can see how it creates these different uh, commands in Python now you can go in and you can edit this script uh, add some looping, add some uh, flow control logic, whatever you need to do. Uh, go out to a database or uh, a file, a data file, XML or what have you, and get some seed data to drive the test. And so now you can have some flexibility beyond what the IDE gives you in terms of controlling your test. But the IDE gives you a good start in creating your work there so that can be very useful and uh, I want to mention though that uh, you cannot import it you cannot export it out to Python or any of these languages and then import it back in so it's not a, a full circle type of thing so that's the demonstration of the Selenium IDE and thank you for watching